you've seen those hilarious baby talking videos that are going viral everywhere you can actually use this trend to create faceless content grow your page or even promote your business in a fun attention grabbing way it is one of the easiest video styles to start with excuse me madam do you see this dream i am only one but i dress like i already own three businesses and a baby bed this the link before i throw a tantrum in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to create them step by step using free ai tools just in case you are seeing my face for the first time hi my name is elako you're welcome to the channel i help content creators beginners and even business owners grow online by breaking down content strategy, AI tools, and digital skills. Please do well to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share this video with someone if you need it. Now, let's talk about these baby talking videos. You've probably seen them on Instagram Reels or TikTok or even YouTube Shorts. The baby is saying something funny, funny or talking like an adult, or sometimes AI-generated baby voices. You can use this to make relatable live content, create memes and various shots, or even run funny product promos for your businesses. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the process. The first thing you will do is to head over to ChatGPT. And what I did here was to ask ChatGPT to turn me into a baby. By generating the picture of a baby for us to create this kind of um, videos. Now, I asked ChatGPT to, I uploaded my photo where you have ask anything just click on this plus sign and attach your photo he's asking me to wait till 4 32 p.m as at the time of recording i can't wait to then so since i already have a history of doing this before i'm just showing you how to go about it so just click on this plus sign and attach your photo there in this ask anything part you type this prompt this particular prompt turn me into a cute one-year-old baby wearing an ankara dress all right i will also give you other prompts in the comment section that I usually use. I have used something like this before and it's generated something very good. Generate an image of a one year old baby that looks exactly like me. Make it realistic wearing an African attire. Make sure you had your photo right here before you click on send. Okay, so and after doing that, the image generated was this. Can you see this cute baby that ChatGPT generated for me? So what I just did was to go ahead and download. So go ahead and download your image and save it on your computer or on your device. You can as well use your phone to do this. Just use your phone. In fact, I generated this image with my phone, with my ChatGPT app. So because I'm logged on with the same account, is why I'm seeing my history on the system like this. Now, the next step is for you to write your script. And to write your script, is that you ask ChatGPT to write your script for you. You write your script yourself, or you download a funny audio from the internet. So in my own case, I'm doing a funny advert for a fashion business so i'm just going to paste my prompt here write a script that is funny that this baby can say to grab audience attention to grab my audience attention i'm sending children's dresses i am going to just send this now chat gpt has given us a script i'll just scroll down a little bit and copy the script then head over to google docs and paste the script in the new file like this i've pasted the script in my google docs and then what you just need to do is to go ahead and edit you know it is a high so you need to edit i'll just go ahead and remove the parts that i do not want from this script i just remove all these parts okay after editing this is all i have so this part where we have brand name just go ahead and put your brand name put your brand name this for whatever script you are writing make sure that it fits you to what you want to use it for this one is just for a fashion business you can tweak it to fit into whatever you want to use it for the next thing is for us to record our voice. If you are using a trending audio, just go to the internet. Just go to the internet, maybe on TikTok, look for a trending audio, download it and save it on your device, okay? But for in our own case, I'm recording my voice, all right? So I'll just go ahead and record my voice. I'll go to a voice recorder. You can head on over to this voice recorder. It is free. So just go ahead and click on this button while you read your script. After recording your voice, then you can go ahead and save it on your device so as it is there are two ways to go about it you can either use the voice the way it is or you change it to a baby's voice in my own case i recorded my voice and i changed it into a baby's voice so let me show you how to do that if you are using a downloaded audio please just skip this part to change the voice to a baby's voice you will open CapCut. i am on CapCut right now and you just go ahead you will open CapCut, then you import the voice over you did or the audio is either you record your voice like i said or you download audio from the internet so you can as well change the audio to that of a baby's voice now i'm going to import my own voice the voice over i did 
just go ahead and import it like you're seeing then you drag it to the timeline like this so when i play mine this is how it looks like initially excuse me madam do you see this drip i am only one but i dress like i already own three businesses and a baby friend now i'm going to change this voice to that of a baby to do so i'll click on the file itself as it is on the timeline then i come to this side this side of carport and click on voice changer right then i'll choose this one this squirrel voice right so when i click on that excuse me mother do you see this drip i am only one but i dress like i already own three businesses and a baby friend if you do not like the way this one sounds then you can go ahead and choose just go through the options we have here for you to you know choose the one that goes with you well now i have chosen the squirrel voice and that is what i'll be using in my own case so after you're done just go ahead and export. So we have two formats here. We have MP4 and MOV. So just leave it as MP4 and then you go ahead and export. Allow it to export. Then the next thing is for us to change it back to MP3. So to change it to MP3, head over to your Google Chrome and in your Google search bar, type MP4 to MP3 converter. It doesn't take time. It's very, very fast. Once it opens, click on choose file, then import the MP4 file remember it's exported on CapCut. we exported on CapCut in mp4 so i have it in mp4 as you can see mp4 so it just import it to this um, website now you click on convert make sure that this output part is mp3 click on convert and you allow it load now the conversion has been done successfully and then you just go ahead and download the mp3 version of your video okay now click on download and save to your device as seen. All right, so the next step is for us to generate the video. Head over to Idra. On this part of Idra, you will see where you select the aspect ratio of your video. So now choose the type of video you want to create. To create one by one, 16 by 9, 9 by 16. 16 by 9 is for videos like YouTube, long form videos like the one you're watching. Why 9 by 16 is for Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikTok videos, okay? So you can choose to... You can choose any of this aspect ratio. So for me, I'll go by 9 by 16. Now, I'm going to choose the resolution. I'll leave it as 720. Leave this setting as auto. Then leave this one to as it is. Then come to this side where we have the start frame. You click on start frame. Then you upload the image of the baby. So I'll just click on upload image and pick the picture of the baby. All right, so this is the picture of the baby that I am using. I'll click on open and you can see that it has uploaded right here. Now, under this part where we have audio script, click on the plus sign, then click on upload audio. Remember the audio we recorded the other time? This is the audio I converted to MP3 the other time. So I'll just choose that and then on this platform for free, you can only record 20 seconds of your video. So you may need to subscribe for the premium package if you want to take this as a business. Here they have the AI filters where you can remove background noise of your audio in case you have one. Okay, so you will notice that it has been updated right here. Now you need to give instructions on how you want your image to be. So I'll just say move hands and body. Okay, so you can use this inspire me feature to give you a prompt. So it says when I choose the inspire me, change what I typed here to person waves their hands as you. Person waves their hands at you with concern. You can use this inspire me part. It will write the prompt for you. So when I chose the inspire me, it changed what I put here as person waves their hands at you. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow button to generate. So this generation will use some credits. I have some free credits. I have about 188 free credits right now. So once I generate, it will reduce by 111 credit. So I'll just go ahead and click on send. Being a free user, I'll need to wait on the queue. At this point, as at now, we have about 934 generations in the free queue. So the wait time could be up to 30 minutes. So I'll need to wait for it for about 30 minutes for this to generate. But if you know you cannot wait or you want to take this as a business, you may need to upgrade. So when you click on this upgrade now, you can see that um, for free plan, we have $0 per month. You have 300 credits per month. Yes, slower generations, no commercial use, cannot purchase credit packs, you know. But for basic, you have $10 per month. 
you have up to 1,000 credits per month. Then we have for the creator, $30 per month. You have up to 4,000 credits per month. Credit does not roll over, so it means to finish up within one month. So if you want to take this as a business, faceless content as a business, then you can go ahead and subscribe. You know, you'll be able to generate at your own pace. At least you have enough credit to work with per month. So I'm still going to stay on the free version. I'll wait for it to generate. And then after generating, this is what I have. This is what I generated. So I'll just go ahead and download it on my device. I'll click on this arrow here and it will download. I'll just go ahead and click on download. Upgrade to enjoy clean water free, watermark free downloads. You can now after downloading, the final step is to open CapCut. Head over to CapCut so that you can edit your video. I'll just go ahead and import my generated video. The purpose of using CapCut, why you're here for is to, you know, edit your video. You can add captions, you can add whatever element you want to add, you know, just to make it more engaging. So I'll just click on this caption. I'll click on text, click on auto captions, and I click on generate. The auto captions have been generated and I'm going to go ahead and change the format to make it um, look beautiful. So on the right hand side of my screen, I have text here. And on that template, I'm going to choose from here. I'm using the pro version of CapCut, so that's why I'll be able to choose any template right here. So I can choose any of those templates here. Under the basic, you can choose the type of font you want for your captions. You can change, increase the size or reduce. You can change the color to your preferred. You can choose a preset style if you want. You can just, you know, be creative about it. Once you're done, you go ahead and export your video. Just click on export and your video will be exported. I hope you found this helpful. Please do well to like this video and share this video with someone you feel needs it. Drop your questions in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer them. If you have any video requests, please kindly indicate that in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.